Hey, how's it going? And today we're going to be talking about sublevels, levels, and level streaming volumes. And this is something that I haven't really I've kind of avoided just because I've had problems with streaming in the past. And I just did a tutorial on world partitions and how to potentially disable them. The gist of that tutorial was you don't disable it, you just open a level that doesn't have it enabled. It seems to be installed upon on default, kind of like when you get a PC and it has Windows on it. So anyway, if we come in here to file, like if we come in here and we go to window and we go to levels, you'll see that levels, levels themselves are disabled when the world partition is enabled because the world partition in a sense is a form of levels and sublevels in a sense. So I guess it's a duplication there. I've talked about this before. It's basically a world on demand and it's kind of streamed in as a needed basis, which makes sense. It doesn't make sense to load stuff into memory that can't be seen or the user's not experiencing. So anyway, to do this, we're just going to go into File, New Level, and we'll go to a basic level and go Create. And then if we come up here into Windows and we look into Levels, you'll see now it's a persistent level. Not a, it's not streamed in. This is not streamed in. So what you can think of sub-levels as, actually you can think of them Another word, if you didn't say levels, is you can think of them as layers because they literally come in on top of each other and they create a duplicate of everything. And so they're literally on top of, of one another until, until you move them in space, in location. And I'll show you what I mean in just a minute. So right now this level is not streamed in. It's here to stay. It's not going anywhere. So what we can do is, just for clarification, we can just save the current level as our current level. And really, it's our main level, so we'll call that our current level. And that's that. And so if we want to make a, another level, we would simply click on it. We're in it right now. And we'll just go save current level as, and we're just going to call this sub-level. And we'll save that. So now we have, what we have right now is just two separate levels and they're distinct and separate from each other. Now, if we make the sub-level a sub-level of the current level, it basically gives us a way to extend the current level, give the additional room and real estate to our current level. And you can only add sub-levels to the current level. It's basically, you can think of it as the default or home page, and you can only add pages to it through it. You can't add sublevels to a sublevel. You can only add sublevels to the main level or the current level. Okay, so now to create our sublevel, we come up here and here to window, and we go to levels, and here's our persistent level. Now we're in the, let's click in and go into our main level, and we're gonna right click here, and we're just gonna go make current. So we should have made our current level our persistent level. And once we've done that, if we go to levels and add existing, we can add a sub-level. So now we've got a sub-level. This is our persistent level, our current level, and then we got our sub-level. And right now it can get confusing because actually we're, we're in our current level right now. But now if you come over here into the outliner, and this is very interesting, You'll notice we have, look, we have two of everything. And in fact, it's causing this message to appear saying multiple directional lights are competing to be used. And so you might question, you know, like, well, where are we? If there's two of everything, how do we know what we're on? So if you see this little window over here, so right now we're, if I click this floor, you'll see it says it's on the, that's a sub-level floor. It's kind of dimmed out. And I click this, that's the current level floor. You see the, the difference there? And that's true with everything. So I would think what we could do is I click on the directional light. That's our, it looks to be, that's our current level light. And this is our sub-level light. I'm thinking we can just delete this light. And that seems to resolve that error. You see that? Now we could have adjusted the priority, but now we just have one level of lighting. So hopefully there won't be a shift. So what's interesting right now is that we're in the current level right now. And you might think, well, I was talking about layers. Well, where is the sub-level? <laughs> so we click on the floor. This is a sub-level floor, right? So like I was talking about layers, right? So look at this. 
if I click and drag, there is our sublevel floor. That's why I'm saying you can think of levels almost as layers, because they're literally on top of one another. See that? And to help us make this distinction, I can get a cube actor, and let's just drag that onto the... Oops. Why does that look so big? Let's see. My depth perception is really bad. Okay, so where are we there? Let me let me do this. Let me copy this location here, and then click on the cube, and paste that there. There we go. Okay. So I don't know why I, I would not be a good crane operator because my depth perception. <laughs> so let's just make a really tall pillar here so that we know that kind of is our marker for our level. So. Hopefully this is making sense. You know, we have a main level and now we have sub level, which is really an extension that we can use an extension. So you could use this, like let's say your, your main level was getting too big with assets and there was no reason to load in the world or you wanted to break the world apart to make it more manageable in terms of memory usage. So you could create sub levels or layers and then you could stream those layers in as they needed to be seen. So let's say you had a 10-story apartment, it would make sense to make those other floors sublevels because you could just stream them in as needed. There'd be no reason to load nine floors into the into your game if you're only using if the player's only on one level. So as they went through the staircase and went to the second floor, you could stream in the second level, then there'd be no need to load in all ten levels into memory. It just wouldn't even make really sense. So that'd be one reason to use sublevels and level streaming volumes. So so let's say now we want to do that. We want to stream in this level. So the other thing I need to do before I get too far down this is I need to get a player start. So let me get a player start and drag this onto the scene. And let's see. Now let's hit play. Why did I come in so weird like that? So you notice like I'm in here. We notice we don't see that pillar, right? So in game mode, we don't see the other level. We only see it in editing mode. I'm trying to get my player to start here. There we go. Okay. So when we're in editor mode, we can see the other levels, the other sub-levels. But in game mode, because we're not telling the game engine otherwise, we don't see any other level. So what we can do to resolve that is we can stream this level in, this second level over here. So let's go ahead and try to see if we can do that. So to do that, we're going to need to be in our current level. So let's get into our current level here. And it's verified by looking there. And we can come over here to place actors. And we can search for level streaming volume right here. And basically this acts as a trigger let me come up and look back down. Let me go into, actually, let me, I can just do it from here. We can just stretch this out. And we would only want to, we'd want to be selective about where we put this, right? So we'd only want to put this in a spot where we were going to need to see our other level, sub-level assets. So it wouldn't make any sense to cover this entire surface with this trigger necessarily because we might not want to stream in the level. So this when we cross when our player crosses this volume, it's going to trigger the second volume. So what's interesting about that is that this surface, this volume would need to cover all of the streamed in surface and then you'd want to place it strategically in because as soon as the player goes off of this volume, out of this volume, then we lose the streamed in level. So if this volume doesn't cover this entire surface, as soon as the player goes off of it, we're going to lose the streamed in surface. So it, it acts as a trigger and then we need it to sustain the level as well. So I'm not going to use, I'm not going to cover the whole surface of this game area just to kind of illustrate those points. So, so over here on the far side of our main level, it won't stream in. And then once I get over here, it'll stop streaming in here too at a certain point. Once I get close to that pillar, I'll literally fall off the, the earth because the level won't be streaming in anymore. And actually because this is kind of a narrow, it's, there's not much here on the Z-axis, once I, I can literally jump up 
because it's I don't have it very tall this volume I could the player could literally jump up and stop the streaming too so all we have to do to stream once we have our volume all we have to do is come into levels we have to we come here and go to sub level and we click this we have to add it it's kind of an array and there's our sub level you see it there and we come here and then it's just going to want us to pick our level streaming volume and that's all we have to do to connect that volume trigger to activate our sub level to stream in and that's it so let's hit play and see what happens so here I am on so I must have I must have come into the volume so look I'll come toward the end where I didn't have it and now you see how there's nothing there now as I walk forward I'm gonna hit the volume is it that way which way is it <laughs> it's one of these ways oh there it is see see how it streams in I don't want to fall off the end of the earth here so there we go so I go this way so as I go forward you see it streaming in and if we hadn't deleted that directional light we would have seen a doubling of the light so here I'm out of the volume there it streams in but ideally you can imagine if there were walls here and stuff now if I get closer and closer and closer the whole world goes away do I fall off I don't fall interesting so anyway that's a kind of a trip huh so anyway I hope you found this helpful it's just a kind of a quick and dirty introduction to level streaming volumes and there's a lot more to it but hopefully this gives you an idea of what's going on so anyway take care have a great day and I'll talk to you next time